welcome back to another video. So as you can see, we have got a beautiful looking new subject. So uh, he's Jai, meet Mr. Jai. So he'll be posing for our videos. So what I'll be doing is covering the portrait shots from the mobile cameras. So in order to capture portraits, of course, we need a person. So that's why we got Mr. Jai. So he is a new upcoming model, rock star, whatever you can call. So he's ready to pose. So let's uh, go and take a pictures of him. And I'll show you what are the settings you need to keep in order to get the best looking portrait images from your mobile phone camera. All right, let's begin with the video then. So Mr. Jai, pose number one. Yeah, that's how you pose. So as you'll see, what I'm trying to do here is to bring the framing in proper proposition. So what is proper proposition or what is proper framing? Now, as you'll see that there are grid lines over here and what I'm trying to do is as you will observe, I'm not holding the camera this way nor this way. So what you need to do is hold the camera so that the lens of the camera is actually facing to the eye of the person you are trying to capture. That's really important trick. No one will tell you that trick. So this is really important if you are trying to capture a professional looking portrait images. So this is the first thing you need to keep in mind and use the grid lines as a reference point. So where this grid lines comes from is just you have to go to the settings over here and enable it from here. So as you will see, there is a grid lines three cross three. So this is the grid line we'll be using and make sure the horizontal and vertical levels are meeting and that is meeting at the eye of a person. That's really important as you will see now. However, I hold my camera over here. I make sure that these lines are meeting at his eye. So that's really important. And once you hold that and once you're confident of the angle and the framing, so make sure you are not holding like this. And once you're very confident, all right, Mr. J, pose number one. Oh yeah boom this is how you capture best looking portrait images from pretty much any mobile camera this is the samsung galaxy a7 of course and what you can do with the samsung phones is there is the option of live focus now just look at observe how this function works pretty much everything in the background is blurred and you will also get the bokeh depending on what background you have got and you can actually live control the bokeh background blur so I would keep it to number five and experiment with it. Make sure you are using tap to focus and you are tapping on his eyes, not anywhere else. So that's really important as well. Again, using the grid lines. All right, Jay, ready, smile. Oh yes. So now you will see that there is absolutely background blur over here. Just look at the image. Background is completely blurred and only the person is in sharp tack focus this is what we need so make sure the eye is really really sharp that way it ensures pretty much everything in the frame is sharp as well this is a very key factor which determines how you capture portrait images the next setting that i'm going to show you is in beauty of course beauty simplifies beautify and here they have given skin features facial features so you can pretty much change the skin smoothness color of the skin as you will see live and even you can actually change the eyes so if you have got smaller looking eyes you can make it large so all those kind of things you can actually do and there is also pro lighting over here at the end so you can use that here's the pro lighting see how the lighting changes on his face so you can say that you're not getting proper light over here what you can do is use this pro lighting this is really awesome feature on the samsung a7 just tap on that beautify here's the pro lighting and then you can actually determine where the lighting wants to come. All right, Jai, pose number two. Oh, yes. Then use the tap to focus. Boom, there you go. This is the perfect looking portrait shots. I'm really happy with how the A7 produces portrait shots. As you can see, you can actually control the lighting even in low light situations like this. Actually, there is a lot of shadow over here, no light. So you can use this feature. There is smart beauty. There is pro lighting again from top to bottom from sideways lighting again you can control how it is actually lit so if you are seeing too much you can actually control it and then try to click a picture you tap to focus look at here jay look at here eyes open open wide open eyes yes that's how you do the portrait photography from the mobile phone so I hope these tricks helps you take better images. This was just a brief video showing how you capture beautiful looking portrait shots of any person. So hit that like button, share with your friends. 
and see you all in another one. Till then, take care, everyone. Bye bye. Relax, day.